Hey guys, Mark with Remote Winbox here, and today we want to talk a little bit about why we like Libre NMS. So one thing that I find all too often is a lack of monitoring health of equipment. From servers to switches, radios to routers, part of a good operational plan is to pay attention to the health of your systems. There's tons of options in this space, and one of our favorites is Libre NMS because it's available for free, it's relatively easy to install, and there's great documentation. In addition, it's very full featured and well automated for the price. And that's one of the things we like most about LibreNMS, that the price is free. What are some of the other pieces we like about LibreNMS? Well, the dashboard has a build your own dashboard kind of display. And that allows you to do a quick heads up for health information on your deployment. Um, you can add whatever widgets you would like to add, they've got a whole bunch to pick from. But for us, what we like to do is just put in the quick gauges that show CPU, RAM, and disk. And that allows you to have a real quick, easy, hey, I wanna check on the most important pieces of my network and make sure that they're in good shape and just right at the front screen, be able to see that. Another thing we like about Libre is auto discovery. Uh, it can fingerprint operating systems and devices so that it automatically organizes them and starts collecting the right data for the type of device that it's connecting to. So for example, um, for us, there's what's called a MIB for Microtik, and it just knows that, hey, if this is a Microtik router, I need to collect this kind of stuff. If it's a Linux VM server, uh, I need to collect this kind of stuff. And so it automatically organizes your data by the type of device that it's connecting to and we'll start polling those automatically once you either put in the subnet or the IP address that you want to scan and also scan, can scan by DNS. One of the next things we like about it is alerting. So this one can take a lot of effort to customize if you really want to be push notified, have Slack messages happen, there's all kinds of integrations that uh, LibreNMS calls transports. And those are third-party plugins that will enable LibreNMS to have it alert to other platforms when something's going on in the network. And so this can be, like I mentioned, a little difficult to set up, but it can be worth it in the long run because it allows you to get those really important notifications for when certain triggers or bad things are happening and you want to get that heads up on what's going on. So as I mentioned already, LibreNMS is free, and I just want to share a little bit about what kind of value that is, what, how you know much is that worth, what's the offer. So one of the popular network monitoring solutions that I looked at said that basically for every couple thousand metrics that you look at, and that metric could be called a sensor, it could be called an aspect, so most of the paid platforms that you can sign up for will charge per metric and not per host. So you pay per CPU, you pay per disk analyzer, you pay per uh, interface. So with us, we've got you know thousands of devices connected to our platform. Paying per interface uh, means that we've got to pay for tens of thousands of metrics. And the price for those they typically charge a couple dollars per metric, and that easily becomes you know many tens of thousands of dollars spend on a commercial network monitoring solution. So with LibreNMS, we get to do that for free as long as we've got enough hardware to support a large install. So pretty graphs are one of the biggest selling points of any NMS. It's what allows you to take a look at the history and be able to tell if today is out of line with every other day in the past. Uh, are we you know, on a good trend where we've got some traffic that's increasing slowly over time? Are we suddenly exploding on disk usage, CPU usage, RAM, any of the identifiers that we might wanna look at, including latency, uh, we can easily see whether we've got a good scenario going on or whether there's a problem. Um, some of our systems that we need to take a look at. So thanks for joining us today, and I hope you'll take a look at LibreNMS. This is Mark with Remote Winbox, and have a great day.